preventing your former real estate salesperson from moving forward is something people do don't know why let's talk about it What's going on, good people? Chris Newton here, Chris Newton Real Estate, Chris Newton Real Estate.com. Follow me on Instagram, Chris Newton Real Estate. Hit me on Twitter, hit me on Twitter is X, whatever, threads, everything. Chris Newton Real Estate. Twitter is also New York's agent. Um, let's, let's talk about it. So, you guys see on my channel, for those who've been following me, you saw on my channel, Road to Broker's License. And for those who are just now following me or just now seeing me and subscribing, this is the part two to that video. So as 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 of now, the time of this video, I've been in real estate five years, a little bit more than five years, right? And it's always been a big goal of mine. I don't like being stagnant. I like, you know, moving and, and elevating, going up. Staying in the same spot just for the sake of staying in the same spot of being content, that's not me. Other people may think it's okay, it's just not okay for me. I'm not, you know, defecating on nobody, it's just not okay for me. I passed my broker's license, as you guys know. I passed my New York State broker's license, and the plan is, was, and is, and will continue to be until it's accomplished is get licensed in florida as well which i am as at the time of this which i am and be a broker in both not a sales person person in both or a broker here and a salesperson there now for me to do that i have to um send in my license of my, my certification of licensure history i have to send that in for me to do that, well, I did uh, re require, I did request, sorry, I did request for my certification of licensure history with the Department of State of New York. And it's going to take some time, maybe January, February, they told me I'll get it back. Whatever. <clears throat> All right. They're super backed up. Cool. While they're doing that, everything else is going to be in place. I'm going to get my license in Florida. I qualify, I get the points. In New York, you have to have 3,500 um, points to qualify for your broker's license. You have to be a salesperson for a minimum of two years. Um, 20 years old or more, because you have to be an eight, a minimum, 18 years old to get your salesperson license. So you have to be at least 20 years old, obviously more than that. I'm thinking about this upsetting me. You have to take the sales, you have to take the broker's course, pass, and then you have to pass the broker's state exam, which I did. Right? So I did everything I was supposed to do. Everything I was supposed to do. Now, silly me, I thought at the time I made the video, I thought that. Once you pass the exam, it automatically changes over to a broker status. I was I was totally unaware that I had to apply. But it made sense. All right, cool. So when I'm looking on the application, I see that I have to put the points that I got with my first brokerage, Ideal Properties Group, and the current brokerage that I'm at right now today. Douglas Sullivan Real Estate. As I told you guys before, my broker and I didn't leave. All right, sorry, I got a phone call, um, one of my clients. So I I did everything I was supposed to do. Everything to the T. Now I got to break down the points that I got with Ideal. So I break down the points I got with Ideal, and I got the majority of my points with them. 
then I had to break down the points I got with Element, which is cool. I got a lot of points with Element, but I take the two and I combine it and I'm more than qualified for my broker's license. Great, dope. I text my broker. Hey, you know, I passed my broker's exam. I just need you to sign up on the application. No response. And I believe this is like the day before I, I went to Miami. So then when I get to Miami, I'm in Walmart um, with the wife and I call him. No answer. I call him again shortly after and I leave a voicemail. Still to this day, no answer. To the day of this recording, no answer. Send an email, no answer. I call one of my old managers. He's no longer at that firm either. I call, I call him and he and I speak a few times about it. He says he's going to reach out to two managers that was there. He says that one of them is going to give him a, um, a call and speak to him. No, nothing. I didn't hear back anything. Now, that manager, I wasn't in the best terms with. And me, I don't like when people try to steal from me. Right? We became cordial after, but we did have a very big fallout about it. After I email and do everything, I said, you know what? He has a partner. He's partners with his wife. I email her. No answer. I email the Department of State. What are my options? You need a wet signature. This is why I'd rather speak to somebody, right? But it's so hard to get in contact with the Department of State because it's like damn, it's damn near impossible. You got to call and call and call and call and call fifty something times to try to, to hopefully get through. And then when you do get through, your wait time is two hundred and something minutes. And you got to push a button so they can call you back. It's 200 something, four something hours. And then they call you back so late. Or maybe just the next day, like. And just opt and say, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to email them. I'm going to email them. So. I'm. Did, I did everything I was supposed to do as an agent to qualify and promote myself from salesperson status to broker status or associate broker status, which is basically the same thing. It's just I'm not um, responsible for everything. So I'm, I'm going to be a broker working under a broker. So many things change when I, when I get my associate broker's license, my broker's license. Rebuild my team the proper way. Splits. Reputation. Because although most people may not know that there's a difference between salesperson and, and a, a broker, the real savvy ones, which are the ones that the money is with, no, they know the difference. So when you just have that or when you have it on a, on a sign and it says licensed sales associate, um, licensed associate broker and licensed sales associate, you're going to know, okay, this might be the boss. Even if it's just me on there. And I can't do that within a time frame I wanted to do 
because you're mad I didn't stay with you. Pause if applicable. You're mad. I said, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach. Because the training is better there. The split is better there. The big dogs are there. I did what's best for me, my family, and my career, and you upset about it. So what, and one of the things he told me when we were, sorry, I lost storage on my phone. <laughs> All right, so I did everything I was supposed to do. And because you saw the I can't progress the way I want to progress. It's going to happen, but the amount, like, one of the last things he told me, which I said before, was, oh, you're not going to make it over at Element. You're, you're no different from your predecessors, which is the people that left him and went to Element or wherever they went and came back. You're no different from your predecessors, Chris. You're no different from your predecessors. You're not better. You're no different from your predecessors. You're going to come crawling back to me. Never will I do that, bro. Never will I do that. Ever. In my opinion, you're already in a sinking ship. But why, why would I? It's so frustrating when you really, you, you doing what you're supposed to do. But because somebody else is upset, is holding you back. A signature. It's not me failing a test. It's not me not qualifying. It's a signature. All you have to do, you can even still say, Chris, here, out of here. What I got to I had to file a formal complaint with the Department of State, send them the proof, fill out the form, send them the proof, and forward it to them just to try to get some traction with this. This is crazy to me. This is crazy to me. What? What? Bro, I haven't been with your firm in over two years. Let it go. Like, I passed my, you should be happy, right? That um, I proved you wrong. I am different from, your prede from the predecessors. I am different because I passed my broker's exam. I don't need you. I'm selling more, I'm renting more, I'm doing everything more, I'm being trained better, like still without a team, still doing it on my own. You didn't make me, you didn't teach me how to cold call, you was to let people to, to ask me how to cold call. You didn't teach me how to follow up. You you asked me to send you a template of what I was doing so you can put it in, into your database and follow up that way. What? This is insane to me. My 36 touch program that I developed, you asked me, can you, um, can I make a copy of that so you can use it? I blanked all of my information out, sent it over to you, no problem. My eight by eight, campaign, I sent that over to you for no, with no problem. I started helping the agents in the office that weren't progressing and weren't doing anything. I was teaching them how to cold call. I was doing all of that. Yeah, I was thinking about making me a manager without my broker's license. I understand why you're salty, but at the same time, bro, like, let it go. Let it go. This is crazy. This is crazy. Listen, when people are trying to push you, push you, like push you around and hold you back from doing what you want, supposed to do or what you want to do and, and, and stop it, trying to sabotage your goals, don't let them. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. You can't go around them. You go through them. Period. Do what you got to do. You don't ever let somebody play with your goals period 
you some goals are just non-negotiable. So regardless of how anybody feel, you got to do what you got to do, point blank, period. For you, for your family, for your legacy, for for every, your career, everything. That's just what it is. I, I'm done. I'm heated right now. Love you guys. Talk to you guys soon. Like, comment, subscribe. This is crazy.